Hello, hello, hello. This is the air castle in the land of make-believe. And all the children everywhere can hear us because we have a magic wire which goes to the radio. We are very anxious to see Clickety-Clack, a happy little funny little wooden man, and Bugler Murphy, his little playmate, and Happy Duck, Bopo, the funny little clown, President Pip, and all of the members of the Air Castle family. Soon they will be coming up the winding stairway to join us, and while we're waiting for them, we might sing a little song. And we wonder how you would like to hear the song about the three little pigs. It's a very sad little song. That is, clickety-clack thinks so. But of course it's only a song. And there's a little lesson in it, too. A jolly old pig once lived in a sty, And three little piggies had she. She waddled about saying, While the little one said, wee oui, wee. Oui. She waddled about saying, while the little one said, wee oui, wee. Oui. My dear little brother, said one of the pigs, my dear little brother, said he, let us all for the future say, tis so childish to say, wee oui, wee, oui. let us all for the future say, it's so childish to say we we So after a time these little pigs died They all died of sea low disease From trying so hard to say When they only could say we we From trying so hard to say When they only could say we we A moral there is to this little song, a moral that's easy to see. Don't try while yet young to say, if you only can say, we oui, we. Oui. Don't try while yet young to say, if you only can say, we oui, we. Oui. And that's the song about the three little pigs. Here he comes. Lickety-clack, lickety-clack, little wooden man. He must have heard that little song. I wonder if Bugler Murphy is with him. Yes, here he is. Bugler Murphy and Lickety-clack, two fine little wooden men. Oh, we've never seen them dressed this way before. What sort of costume is that? Artist. Have you decided to become artist? <laughs> Going to paint pictures. Pretty pictures. Oh, that's wonderful. They're wearing little smocks and uh, tam o today. And they look, uh, well, they look just exactly like uh, artists that you've seen uh, in pictures. And who is this? <laughs> oh, Happy Duck is here. Wearing, oh, Happy Duck is dressed like an artist, too. Instead of the little red hat, Happy Duck is wearing a little red tam today. <laughs> oh, Happy Duck, no doubt you'll be a wonderful artist. And you'll paint some very uh, strange little paintings, I suppose, of uh, life on the farm. Will that be it? <laughs> oh, you're going to paint pictures of chickens and turkeys and ducks and everything. Ah, we can hardly wait until we see that. Hello, Bapo. Here's Bapo, funny little clown. And he is dressed to represent a little artist, too. <laughs> You're going to paint funny pictures. <laughs> oh, let's see the one you have there. Bapo has already started to become an artist. Oh, Bugler Murphy, just see the picture Bapo has painted already. <laughs> Oh, Clickety Clack and Bugler Murphy are very much amused. Bapo has painted a picture of Clickety Clack and Bugler Murphy both riding on a pig. <laughs> oh, your sense of humor, Bapo. 
My. I wonder what President Pep will think of all these pictures. Oh, be careful, Crickety Crack. Crickety Crack bumped his head. He was jumping around so much. Here comes President Pep now. Perhaps you'd better blow the salute, Bugler Murphy. And use the new bugle, too. Hello, President Pip. Well, howdy do, howdy do, doody do, do, do. Well, goodness me. I'm glad Bugler Murphy blew the proper salute. On the new bugle, too. Well, sorry, man, today is art day in the art castle. Today is art day. I think that's very wonderful. Bapa has already uh, started to paint his pictures. See the one he painted. <laughs> oh, he said, look, President Pip. Oh, goodness me. Pinkity Quack and Bugle Murphy. What do you think of that one? <laughs> well, you know, sorry, man, I'm going to paint a picture, too. I'm going to paint a real picture. Um, well, I think uh, the thing we'll do, we'll, we'll, go up on the, we'll go up on the tower and... Um, We'll go up on the tower and we'll see what we can see to paint. Maybe maybe there'll be a train going by or something. Goodness me. Wouldn't it be nice if a train would go by? Hmm, I should say it would. We could paint a picture of that. I don't know whether any train will go by, though, or not. Well, we might uh, see if it will. Oh, goodness me. You can never tell. It might. Well, let's go up on the tower, then. Do you have your uh, easel and paint and everything up there? Yes, already up there. And, and uh, I think maybe I think maybe we'll find something something to paint. You know, to me, one of the most wonderful things in a painting. When I was a little boy and lived in a land of upside down, we had a calendar. Well, a calendar of, um, let's see, I think it was 18, 12, 18, 13, 18, 14. Oh, someplace. No, it wasn't early. Let's see, it was nine. It was 18, uh, something or other, and it was a picture of a train. It wasn't as good as the train as they have today, but uh, I always remembered it. And you know, as a little child, uh, a little child who lived in the, uh, who lived in the uh, land of upside down, I couldn't imagine why it was running forwards instead of backwards. Oh, that's right, President Pip. I remember that uh, everything uh, ran backwards there, even those funny little animals. What did you call those? Well, we called them the leaping whistles. They wore their fur on inside out and ran backwards. Hmm, terrific little animals and how they could run. Oh, I remember that. We went hunting for them once, didn't we? Yes, I'm glad you remember. Remember Charlie the mayor and we all went hunting with, with the rifles with curved barrels? Oh, yes. We couldn't hit a thing. Well, we weren't supposed to. We weren't supposed to. Anybody, anybody, can, anybody can hit something with a, with, a, with a rifle with a straight barrel... And, uh, if, you, if you hit one with a curved barrel, then you've done something. I remember you explained that at the time. Well, sorry, man. You know, I think it's going to be pretty nice to be up here. Ah, it is lovely. Just look at all over the place there. You can see all kinds of things. Oh, excuse me, I dropped my paintbrush. There. Now, if a train would go by, I would get an idea of a very powerful picture to paint. A powerful picture to paint. Well, that's alliterative, isn't it? I should say powerful picture to paint. Hmm. Second o'clock and Bigger Murphy, what are you going to paint? <laughs> Bigger Murphy says he's going to paint a portrait of that beautiful cow over there. And what are you going to paint, second o'clock? He's going to paint it all... Oh, all right, all right. He's going to paint a picture of that little billy goat down there. Well, we'll have quite a collection. Bopo, what are you going to paint? <laughs> oh, here, here comes the train. Here comes the train. Send me the telescope. Here you are, President Pip. Oh, where are my paints? Where are my paints? I need some black and some green and some gray. And I need some blue for the sky. Hurry. Oh, damn it, let me clickety clack. Never mind the goat. Never mind the goat. The train won't be here long. How are you getting along, President Pip? Oh, goodness me. If another one would only go by, I had it half finished. I wish another one would go by. Some days we have luck, and they do. Several of them go by. I think you're going to have lots of luck, President Pip. Here comes another one. Oh, good. Now, if I, if I can only paint it. Oh, 
Look, Tony, man, I wish somebody would run down there and flag that train and make it stand still long enough for me to paint it. Oh, that wouldn't be right, President Pip. Oh, there's a dandy one. He's going across the crossing. Are you getting it, President Pip? There are the wheels. There are the... Oh, I made a mistake. This next one was a freight train and I put a caboose on it. I painted the passenger train and then put a caboose on the end of it. Oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? Well, President Pip, that doesn't seem right. Well, President Pip, I think that's going to be very good. Can you remember the details to put in the uh, finishing touches? Well, I think so. What do you think about this painting of mine, Piggy Clank? Oh, thank you very much for the compliment. You know what he said? What did he say, President Pip? I often have trouble in trying to understand his little wooden dialect. His little wooden dialect? You mean language? Yes, President Pip. Well, he said that train... He wants to take a ride in the train I painted because it looks so real. Goodness me. I suppose if I painted a picture of a pile of sawdust, he, he would get so hungry that he wouldn't know what to do. It looks so real to him. Oh, by the way, clickety clack, I have a handful of sawdust here. Nice, fresh sawdust sent to you by a very thoughtful little girl. <laughs> Bigler Murphy says he's hungry, too. Well, here are some nice sunflower seeds for you, Bugler Murphy. You know, those little wooden men always remember to chew their food up real well. Ah, clickety-clack, clickety-clack, don't, don't bump up against my painting. It's still, it's still wet. Those are oil paints. You never must get in oil paints. Besides, you would spoil your little uniform. I mean, your little smock and your little tam Ah, Diggle Murphy is hungry, too. <laughs> Where's Happy Duck? Oh, there's Happy Duck. You know how Happy Duck paints? Paints futuristic. Futuristic? Oh, it does look like a very, very strange thing, doesn't it? Happy Duck, what does that represent, this painting you've done? <laughs> very good, very good indeed. Happy Duck, you have a good future back of you. I mean, you have a wonderful future ahead of you. Painted with duck tracks, what he calls Hurricane in Kansas. Oh, it is wonderful. How did you get those spiral effects there, Happy Duck? Paper. See, he gets his, gets his feet in the paint and then jumps on the paper. And then, and then the title of his, of his landscape is Hurricane in Kansas. Oh, President Pip. Why wouldn't it be some other state? Well, he just well, he's not the only state he remembered. Why didn't you call it the Hurricane in the Northern Hemisphere? I think that's a good idea, Happy Duck. I give Kansas all the credit for all the hurricanes. Goodness me, they're liable to hit anywhere. Besides, you know, you might have some friends in Kansas and they wouldn't like you to say that. That's quite right, President Pitt. You should never say things like that. Oh, all right. Oh, strong man. Now, are my eyes deceiving me? Happy duck, I'm afraid you're getting us in trouble. What's the matter, President Pitt? See that dark cloud? I think there's a hurricane coming toward me, our castle story man. Oh, we'll have to run to the storm cellar. Well, the magic bells are ringing too, President Pip. I'll have to go back to the land of every day. No, stay with us. Stay with us, story man. We may need you. Goodbye, children. Be good, and you'll be happy.